Good morning once again, sports fans. We got our Billy on the boil. Oh, good. That that come out quickly, didn't it? Billy on the boil. Billy on the boil. Well, we have several things of discussion. We got a oh the old big bloody can Lincoln holder. Now there's our water, right? She's a uh, bubbling. We could say we could easily pick this up. And we can have another look. Look, another look. Look, now she's boiling. So we know we got the goods. And I have to say, right? Look, look, look at the cooker that I have. Last night I heard them screaming, strange voices behind the wall. The police always come late if they come at all. Though I have to say, last night I just I, I didn't have one because I threw it away. Well, it got rusty, and I didn't have one. And then I just picked picked this uh, larger one up, and I just start at it with the pliers and the coping saw. I really didn't know what I was doing, and then I put the fuel in, lit it, and oh my god, it is the design. And I only have to think to myself, you know, Uncle Leslie was a boiler maker. And for God's sakes, thank you, God, for allowing Uncle Leslie to come to me last night. <laughs> look at this thing. It's just one thing now. Look. And look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. If that's not a boiler, I don't know what it is. And I hope to God, in similitude with that great man, who was not in my life, which I'm very, very uh, poor for, I'm sure. Though anyway, you know, he persists, right? Look, look at this, look. How could you be, right? That had a plastic thing in there that I didn't like. And look at this, look. I just get the ring pull off a bigger can, and look, I put it in there, and it, it's, it's beautiful. And it's even low be, with the lid. All right, so now I got me water. It's it's had uh, alum and hydrogen uh, uh, potassium permanganate in there, just a little amount, which I do believe, if I do boil it, will take some of the chemical away. But it wasn't much chemical anyway. There was enough that I could drink that water without boiling. It probably wouldn't give me anything. So purified enough, and and look at a Billy boiler. Our Billy Boyle, we just put the Billy back on there. I now put it right over the top like this because that consumes the fuel less and keeps the water hotter longer. And a little bit of that metho just lasts a long time. I've had the gas cooker. I've had the camping gas cooker. And this, this, where am I thinking? This is superior to that. Easy to carry, not a trouble. And then the fuel itself, right? If, if you can burn wood if that's allowable or there's a fireplace you just set that up and put sticks in there pour a little bit of metho on the sticks go it with the one of these lighters that are three bloody dollars and boom you're away you don't have to have a puff you don't have to know how to start a fire or a stack of fire very well you just need one of these your metho fuel that put sticks in there and light it and, and you're away. As long as you're six there, you don't even need your metho then. You just use a tiny bit of metho to light it. E even if wood's damp, that system will get it going. And you virtually need to know nothing about really campfires at all. But you can get a good book. It's called Campfire, so, uh, mm, Campfire Science. That's the best I can remember. And, and, and you can read that. But look at this. Look, there I go. There there before the grace of God go I and I tell you what I I I maintain these things that I know are very beneficial green tea and the other one that you know things aren't in on it yet particularly for me but I tell you what I carry this one I carry everything in plastic like this because they give it to you in the glass and I understand because it's reactive but 
it's too heavy, you know what I mean? It can't be carried. It's too heavy. You know, those who give up a little liberty for a little uh, safety deserve neither. There we go. How's that? Now I have my coffee. I have my green tea. I have my nice water. I'm just waiting for it to cool down because I'm a sensitive person. And that's in a uh, flask, thermo flask thing cup, which takes forever. Though, if I wanted to, you know, I could throw that in there with them things and sooner or later, especially on the running tide, I'll probably be cooking myself up a fish in a pot, which is on the bottom at the moment, but it raises it up off the ground. Uh, and, and boiling away in the water and then drinking that juice and eating that fish be all lovely and I'll be sitting here thinking how freaking lucky I am and how happy I am and feeling like I got the strength of Superman and I want to jump over a tree or something but you know what I mean there's other things to do there's other ways to go and sometimes you know some days are diamond and some days are stone sometimes the hard times won't leave you alone and sometimes the cold wind blows a chill in my bowl. Some days a diamond, some days a storm. But, sports fans, I got this thing here, look. I gotta show you. It's ambidextrous, this thing. I can use it to play mobile games. Just slot my phone in there. I can use it to play computer games, even flight sim, right? That's why I play flight sim. I got the clip-on thing on there at the moment. But because the clip-on thing's there, I cannot compactly put the typewriter in there. It won't let me do it. So, I can clip that on if that will fold down. But for some reason, they don't let it fold down. Why, I don't know. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to waste some time and make a slot in there so that can fold down flat. And then I can just clip that in whether that thing's there or not. That's what I'm going to do. Because that's what I want to do. In fact, I was thinking, you know, I can do the, this, that I totally extend, put an extension, extension on there. <laughs> and then I can, like, use it, right, off that as well, like, just back here while I'm looking at the screen. But it's a very good thing. It's a very good thing. And I can control those planes just as well as if I had a whole flight sim deck. A whole, like I used to have before it was given away without my consent uh, $6,500 computer but uh, uh, it's that is as good as that you know, it's bloody whatever it is $99 and now I can use it on my mobile I can type with a thing and look how light this is look so what I want to do is just wire all that together and all compact so I'm going to put it in the casing I want to slot that in there and I can't at the moment so I'm just going to make, make a groove in there and push that down. Then I'm going to clip that in there. Then it's all together. It's all together. So then I can put it in the rest of the flight sim business, which is this, right? You can sit in there. I have discovered out in the bush, you would be a wise man to put everything in these clip containers. Because sometimes, you know what I mean? It's like squatter. It's like uh, poultry, you know, drought and flooding rains when I'd be prepared for that. See, I can't, that would be in there. And then look, here's my mouse. <laughs> my opinion, that is the mouse to get. Why? I'll tell you, because the button has no buttons on the side, which means I don't inadvertently press them in times of struggle. And all the buttons are on the top. And there are six buttons, six friggin' buttons on the top. This can be uh, bomb door open. This can be bomb door drop. This can be fire trigger. This can be map, map look. And then you have one, two, three, four. One could be uh, bomb site. One could be view uh, rear, view forward. And then you could, you know, you, you, you have zoom in and out on this one. Uh, you have reload gun, pushing it down. And, and, and this one, you can have the, uh, the map. You can have the... Uh, people look thing so you know, th this to me is the best this this friggin thing here. this is a good friggin thing and, and then each color 
is a, is a mapping. So you can change the color you see on the side LED, and that will totally rearrange your mapping. So if you get a different plane and you don't want certain features because maybe it's not a bomber, you, you, you can just change the light to say red for fighter and bang, you got fighter mapping on these buttons. And if you're in a bomber, you can change it to blue for fighter and you got bomber mappings. It, it, it is a very good, uh, what is it? Mouse, this one. I, I've tried, I've tried them all. And for how I operate that game, this is the mouse. It's called a uh, Logitech, I believe, GS300. That's the dude. And if you go into the department stores, not the computer store, they're friggin' cheap as chips in there. And that's the dude. That's the dude. And in general, that Logitech stuff is pretty friggin' good. And and this here, right, I'll just give you a rundown, right? In my opinion, you, you don't want to make the rudder pedals on the plane, these ones down here. For reason that they don't bilaterally operate to start with. And then the adjustment isn't defined. This is how I operate the rudder. This one is my rudder, right? And I allow it to have nothing up here. If I go like that, it does nothing. And it only operates left and right rudder. So I got my left and right rudder here. I got fine adjustments and it's operating bilaterally. You know what I mean? There some this way and there's some that way. And even, even the push down button I do not have. On the other one I had before I did because it's very stiff and I got plans to make that stiffer, maybe put in a stiffer spring so it's not easily pushed down. But in this one it pushes down easily and just buggers me up. I, I used to have the zoom in, zoom out on there, right? Uh, but now I have nothing on there because it constantly enacts. The old one it never did unless I really pressed it out because it probably had heavier springs where they probably redesigned it, they made it lighter for them shooter games, which would probably be okay, I don't know, but it needs heavy springs, so I, in that, I don't use it at all. And then this here is because the uh, pitch and the roll, you got the yaw here. And a uh, fire button, I have a fire button here. I also, that's my bomb drop button. I don't mind if you lose a few rounds, but that's the only one you can have. Because you got, have these here, uh, this bomb door open too. I, I have uh, two things, because I look with the mouse, right? So if I look with the mouse, I use my right hand, look with the mouse, and I fly with this, left hand. In reality, you're in the left seat, right? And in the left seat, you hold the column like this. <laughs> so you're using your left hand. And so I make this a rudder. And that allows me to take my right hand from the mouse and look around to the mouse and look around with the mouse. And so I, I have controls on the mouse that I can see operating the mouse, particularly the views, and then I can fly this reasonable with just uh, pitch and roll. Even, you know, it is far more advantageous, right, to look back totally in your aircraft, fighter or bomber, or get in the back seat of the fighter, and give up your rudder, but dodge looking back and following the enemy with the mouse. The, the, the advantageous of that, to giving up a little bit of rudder, is, you know, most times you can kind of get out of someone on your tail. Just. But that's very difficult, as anyone who plays that game would know. Though, you give up looking, and bang. For the rudder, the advantage not there. You're going to get shot down. Because... And you've got to fly looking back the total time and looking at the enemy. And then you can see when they fire their guns. You see it. And of course, you know, it's a good game. Light travels faster than uh, sound. So, boom, you can make an uh, instant adjustment and they'll miss you. It only takes one hit and that can dissolve that function because, you know, your plane not operating correctly. But it's possible... As long as your plane doesn't get hit, you can constantly just do that. As long as you fly backwards and fly can fly low to the ground backwards, that, that that's a good thing. But if you fly just forward and you don't know where it's coming from, how are you going to dodge it when it's fired? If you're not looking directly at their plane when they fire it, how can you dodge it? 
anyway, that's what I do. And it's a very, very good system. And I can take this anyway. Look, I pop the lid on that. All right. I, I, I can go anywhere. If that thing was correctly... No, I've got to say the truth. That was correctly made. I can just slot that down, slot in there. And look, it's all just that compact. And furthermore, look at this. Look, it's reasonably light. Right? For what it is and for what it does, it's reasonably light. Because it is. It definitely reasonably, reasonably light. Actually, it's kind of super light. And uh, I'm very happy with it. I get the red one. I, I, I also put the red things under here. And the red caps on top. They come off. I glued them on. They still come off. Because it's so slimy, the handle they have underneath. But it looks good. And then, them things make a difference. Those little rubber things on grommets. They, they do make a difference. It's not... It sort of like deadens your... When you You know, your fast reaction when you're surprised. And, and even just in general. So I'm very happy. And, and I get the red lead. So I can plug it in direct. Not you even use the boot, Bluetooth. And the mouse. Now, the chin thing I'm still developing because, geez, I tell you what. But it totally takes off my mind one avenue to my hands. And I do have difficulty trying to line someone up their plane and then fire with this button. It, it, it's, it just makes it difficult because you're trying to do two more things with your hand than should. And if you use, if I use my jaw, I take one away. Because normally I, this is operated by my feet. But now I'm operating it through my hand that must that would normally press this for the fire button. And it's very difficult to be operating this with the hand that also does this. You, you momentarily freeze. You, you, you got to keep this and you momentarily freeze to press that. This momentarily stops when you think to press that. And, you, and the throws your shot off. But if I got on my chin, it doesn't. I, I can keep a line to the plane and do the shot but i'm not a fighter pilot in any way shape or form I, i'm not very good at that but i'm getting better <laughs> i'm getting better i'm getting better and i hope to get better i i have got to say it i know i will get better but that's the system i use that my complete flight sim now it's in that little container it's very light i can just go anywhere and use it i'm very happy i'm considering the steam deck and I'm very blessed that I have already the flight mapping and the, uh, the knowing to, to fly with that. Because I could fly with that too, see? Just the same. As long as I, as long as I can plug a periphery mouse in. So I hope it's like that. I, I just got to know it's like that. Because if I can't plug a periphery mouse, it's going to be useless for me to use. And it's got to be this mouse. Because any other mouse won't do. <laughs> any dream will do. Anyway, that's my stuff. I got it. I packed it. It pour down raining. I still got it. See? Because I've been there and done that before. Pour down raining. Don't worry about putting it in a plastic bag or bloody in your backpack. You'll be pulling that out and chucking it in the bin. Anyway, my coffee thing there is nearly ready to drink. I want a fish. I got that. Nearly ready to go. This guy. Even if he cools. I'm going to drink that. And... I tell you what, it's all good. It's all good because I was made to be in the wood. <laughs>